If you were to combine the convenience of caller ID and the monitoring capabilities of a security system, you would end up with the Ring doorbell camera. Invented in 2013, this device has gone on to become a staple in residential, state-of-the-art security systems, and with good reason, as the Ring Cam's motion-detecting features picks up any type of unexpected visitor, whether their intentions are good or bad. The popularity of this camera's installation in various homes across the country has allowed individuals to capture footage of some truly disturbing, inexplicable, and terrifying moments. Here are 10 of the darkest, creepiest, and outlandish doorbell camera videos on YouTube. Number 1. Bare Naked Our first video comes from a Reddit post from a user named Navy Beans that was posted a little over a year ago on the public forums. The user writes that something incredibly strange and unexpected showed up on their ring doorbell camera footage in the middle of the night. A completely naked man is seen prowling around their backyard, but they seem to just have a case of wanderlust since the intruder doesn't seem to want to break into the house, nor do they check any unlocked windows or doors for a potential entryway. Instead, the mystery man is seen walking around and exploring the various trails and outskirts of the property. The reason this instance is so unsettling is because the Reddit user mentions they live in the mountains, about three miles from any type of neighbor or form of civilization. This means that the visitor in the video would have had to walk an incredibly long distance through the woods completely naked in the middle of the night to arrive at his destination. The mystery man leaves shortly after doing some laps around the property and is never seen or heard from again. Number 2. No New Friends this recent video involves a former police officer and a school teacher who seems to be under the influence of some type of substance, as her behavior is incredibly aggressive and manic-like. The teacher in the video seems to be suffering from a case of mistaken identity, as she repeatedly tells the retired police officer and homeowner that her friend is inside the house. She doesn't take no for an answer when she is repeatedly told that she is at the wrong home and her friend doesn't live there and to leave the property. After making her verbal pleas and crying out for her invisible friend inside, she begins vandalizing and ripping off the screens from the windows in a further attempt to invade the residence. Rather than using her own personal firearm to protect herself, the homeowner calls the police who arrive at the scene while the woman is still wandering around the parameter of the home. When questioned, you can really tell the woman believes her friend is inside the home and it becomes clear she is suffering from some type of drug-induced episode. She is arrested shortly afterwards and the homeowner didn't have to resort to taking matter into their own hands. The situation could have resulted in a much more grim ending for the school teacher. But it is this moment that had Paul fearing for her life, an experience that brought this retired police officer to tears. I came very close to shooting her. And I don't think she or her family realized that. I mean, it's something nobody wants to do. Seconds after Paul told the woman she was armed with a gun, she is seen walking away as police are pulling up. Hi. Hi. Do you live here? No, I don't. So why are you banging on the door? Because my friend was there. According to Fresno Police, that woman is 30-year-old Hannah Nakagawa, a resident of Fresno and, according to the police report, a teacher for Fresno Unified School District. Authorities believe Nakagawa was under the influence of alcohol. She was arrested for vandalism and released to a friend at police headquarters with a citation and promised to appear in court. Number 3. Under Wraps the third, and in my opinion, creepiest video in the countdown involves a young woman who appears on a ring doorbell camera in extremely baggy clothes and a scarf covering her face. Even though concealed, the woman clearly is enjoying being captured on camera as her body language goes from a confident smirk to a more sinister tone of stalking the camera lens with her eyes. After staring down the lens and looking through the soul of the person on the other side, she puts on her sunglasses in the dark and cracks another smirk, followed by some tampering with the doorbell camera's buttons. When she is unable to successfully plug in the code to open the front door, she becomes more disinterested with the device and slowly creeps off camera, but not before making some hand gestures to the camera such as rock on and then randomly flashes the number 3, then 1. I originally thought she was using sign language, but after further research, it seems like she's just poking fun at the viewer on the other side and isn't really trying to communicate much. Many users believe this is a scorned and mentally unstable ex-girlfriend who is stalking their partner in retaliation to the relationship ending, and others believe it's just a deranged bag lady who wandered off the street and stumbled onto someone's front door. Either way, having someone linger around your home in such a sinister manner, no matter the circumstance, is very nerve-wracking and unsettling. Missed Connection This now viral video has been garnering an incredible amount of attention in the last couple of months. It involves a very disturbing and direct monologue recited by a then-unknown man when he steps onto a stranger's front door. 
The man is later identified as 40-year-old Christopher Sums, and the incident took place in a home in downtown Las Vegas. The man calmly walks up to the door after peering in through the glass and asks if the lady of the house is inside. The man then proceeds with a chilling declaration that he is looking for the woman inside the home so he can sexually assault and murder her. The man is dead serious and never breaks his direct tone of contact when having the conversation with the doorbell camera. Luckily, the man was arrested shortly after the incident and taken into custody. I just rang your doorbell because I have a couple questions for you. Are you sure? I just rang your doorbell because I have a couple questions for you. But what? Are you sure? I just rang your doorbell because I have a couple questions for you. Yeah? Are you sure? Who are you? Hey, I just had a couple questions. I just wanted to ask you about the uh, AB tool. Yeah, can you hear me? Uh, what I'm looking for is for the girl that's in the house to come out here because I'm going to rape her and kill her. You have her open the door? I'm going to rape and kill the girl that's on the other side of this door when she lets me in. I, I want to rape her and kill her because I have a knife and a gun. Yeah, and I just, uh, I'm going to knock on her door again. <laughs> All right. After identifying the man in this in a disturbing video that we've shown you, arrested for saying that he wanted to rape and kill a woman on a ring doorbell camera here in Las Vegas. Right now you're looking at 40 year old Christopher Sums. Sums was set to have a hearing today, but court officials say he refused to be transported. So that hearing was rescheduled. Now the incident allegedly involving Sums happened last week at home at a home near downtown Las Vegas. A man was recorded by a ring doorbell camera knocking and peering inside of a home. Someone then asks him who he is, and he says he's looking for the girl in that home because he's going to rape and kill her. I'm sure you've seen that disturbing video by now. Sums is now facing several charges. Number five, ride with me. Although it's much more common to capture a visitor walking up to your door on camera, this instance captures a potential kidnapping victim in real time as the plan of action unfolds. On Tuesday, November 12, 2019, at 11.39 p.m., a ring doorbell camera captured the guttural screams of a woman in distress in a Los Angeles suburban neighborhood. Many residents in the area were woken up by the woman's screams in the distance, and luckily, one of the neighbors had a ring doorbell camera to capture the exact moment when a speeding car was transporting the victim against their will. But the scariest part of this event is that there are no updates to the case. The most effort the police did on their part was to declare the woman in the video missing, but have not apprehended the suspect, nor ever discovered who the identity of the screaming victim was. There is very little information as to who the identity of this woman is, or what happened to her after this incident. Hi, Jeff and Susie. Yeah, the LAPD, they've been out here for hours. They are going door to door, knocking on everyone's doors out here, asking to see if they have ring doorbell video. Lots of ring doorbell cameras on this street, so they've been out here for hours just looking for more. A woman was heard screaming for help on a ring doorbell in Lamert Park Tuesday night. You can see the owners of the doorbell went outside to check out what was going on and then watched as a white hatchback appeared to drive off with the screaming woman. A neighbor who asked to remain anonymous heard the commotion. It was a little scary. It was kind of like if he was like attacking her and she was trying to like get out of his car, but he wouldn't let her. LAPD officers were seen going door to door on 3rd Avenue near Obama Boulevard, checking for more ring doorbell video. An officer told us they don't know yet if this was a domestic dispute or something else. The neighbor heard a woman and man arguing. The guy was telling her something like, oh, I'm sorry. I told you I was sorry. And she just kept screaming for help. And, and then that's when he kind of like just took her and just drove off. Many neighbors are just now hearing about this incident, wondering if the woman lives on the street. The car that she was in, I've never seen it before. So we don't know who she was, if she was in the neighborhood, if someone was visiting her, we, we're not sure. Again, police do not know what this is all about. They're trying to figure out, was this a kidnapping? Was this a uh, domestic disturbance? What was this? That's why they are still out here trying to get to the bottom of it. Number six, don't dream it's over. 
Since we're discussing the topic of victims being held against their will, the following video shows a similar theme. A woman in a robe is seen frantically knocking on a neighbor's door as the blurry lens of a ring cam captures her expressions of distress and fear. A few moments later, the pleas for help turn into screams as her abusive partner enters the frame and drags her off screen. Here is the video and accompanying news story involving the possible kidnapping. Sadly, there are multiple videos of this very type of interaction online, and many of them have even garnered national attention as they are downright uncomfortable and difficult to watch. Number 7. Tweak or Treat I haven't seen this clip included in many compilations and involves a man who visited a random house in the Los Angeles area. On June 29, 2021, at 11.30 p.m., which seems to be a popular time when most of these encounters take place, we have a solicitor using a knife and driving it in between the wedge of a front door and door frame. The man is clearly visible on Ring Cam's doorbell attempting to break into the home and the homeowner tries to repeatedly communicate with the man, but he was clearly preoccupied with the objective at hand. The homeowner then calls the police and they arrive to detain the suspect. The tables turn, however, when the man is released after technically not breaking any laws, according to some recent changes in the city's misdemeanor and felonies policies. A few hours later, the man was found completely naked after breaking into a nearby neighbor's apartment. The naked man, under the influence of some type of drug, was found with the drill in his hands and attempted to use it as a weapon before being arrested and detained in the back of the police vehicle, as seen in these news pictures and news stories. On June 29th, around 11.30 p.m., this man can be clearly seen on security video using what appears to be a metal blade, attempting to break into Cindy and Robert Hemingway's home. When I saw the knife, I was pretty freaked out. I mean, he was... You know, it's like Nightmare on Elm Street, the video. Cindy was home alone. Robert was out of town, but watching everything unfold through their ring security system. I said, Cindy, you got to call the cops immediately. She did, and she also decided to communicate with the man at her door, hoping to scare him away. Who is it? Um, this is a little girl. When LAPD officers arrived, Cindy showed them the video. The initial response was that the man who was still in the neighborhood would be detained. He matched the description, so since I already saw the video, I'll be able to better identify him. But after communicating with superiors, officers explained there would be no arrest. During the amount of time that he was doing it for and then immediately doing the, the ring camera, there's certain elements that we need to meet for a crime to take him in. Anybody that sees the reverse camera angle, if I showed 100 people that and said, what is this guy trying to do? They're all going to say he's trying to break into the house. The Hemingways were told about Prop 47, which reclassifies certain crimes from felonies to misdemeanors. Even the officers that night indicated that they, their hands were a bit tied because of the policies. So the man seen in this video was let go. A few hours later, he took off all his clothes and broke into this apartment, not too far away from the Hemingways. Desnudo, completamente desnudo. Jose Campos says the naked man woke up his 12-year-old twins. He heard the commotion and confronted the intruder, who then grabbed a drill and began fighting with Jose. And that's when I saw the guy naked with my dad fighting. We hid in my uncle's room. And I don't know, we would just hear noises and stuff and it would be, it was very scary. And Jose managed to capture pictures of the naked man in the back of the police cruiser you can see right here. He was completely naked. Now, can you imagine this man breaking into your home, attacking you with a drill, and all he ends up with is a charge of vandalism? Jose says what occurred at his apartment isn't vandalism. He says it's a much more serious crime. The Hemingways agree. The guy dropped his clothes, entered nude, and was caught inside, had a huge fight, uh, attacked the father with a power drill, and traumatized the family. And yet they used the statement, we can't prove his intent. Chief Moore says this is the first time he is hearing about these two cases. He promises to launch an investigation. Home sweet home. 
A Reddit user named Syntax Error posted a short clip of an elderly woman holding a knife and laughing maniacally while walking up the doorsteps of a stranger's home. It appears that the lady is smiling but then has an expression of confusion come across her face, followed by more smiling as she waves the knife around in front of the camera. As frightening as this might appear, this is more than likely a woman suffering from dementia and is unaware of her surroundings or location. I understand how visually threatening this might appear to some people, but this seems to be more of a case of a mental decline rather than someone with sinister intentions, but you can decide for yourself what her motive was. Another one bites the dust. Now taking a break from the more serious altercations in the video, we have this clip of a young woman who appears to be having some fun with a neighbor's newly installed doorbell camera. She could also just be drunk and passing by when she notices the doorbell camera, but she begins making intentionally creepy and cringy gestures before pausing when she notices a car driving by. After the car leaves the area, she resumes her activity and leaves more than a minute worth of footage for the homeowner to watch back the following day. The funny part is that the user posted the video on their YouTube channel and commented that he thought the girl who trespassed was pretty cute, and I guess this could be a new way of meeting people in the virtual day and age. Honorable Mentions The last three clips don't require any type of introduction or description, as most of them are very isolated and very brief instances of unexpected visitors in the middle of the night. They have either been covered endlessly in other videos or have no further information available regarding their origin. First being a man under the influence of some type of drug, knocking on random doorbell cams looking incredibly suspicious and run down, while the other two visitors put a lot more work into their appearance before making their ring cam debut. The reason I am not investing more time into the narration of these clips is because there isn't anything else to add or describe. They're just brief, one minute encounters that could have potentially been more dangerous than anticipated. Not to mention most of these clips are more than likely a creative neighbor with an inventive imagination just looking to have fun, but you can be the judge. It's James. I'm sorry. Uh, looked in one day and saw you naked and oh god, I can't stop. 